Hey YouTube, Miles from Nexus Core here. Um, wow, okay, I'm exhausted. Uh, stay up till f almost 5 a.m. Um, I'm bringing another deck, buddy fight deck profile. Uh, this one is of Danger World. We've got God Punks. So the buddy is uh, Top Fist Vainglory Brawl Zeus. I almost thought, I thought that said uh, Tyrant, and I was like, that's not what his name is. I'm gonna leave these here. So. Sensor out Lewards face to symbolize how I've forgotten about my Shadow Paladin deck profile. Uh, moving right in, uh, we got our size threes. You run four Fingers Myriad Zap Uranus. Um, or, you know, Zap Uranus, because that's actually what the card used to be called. Um, little thing about Godpunks, their shtick is actually using your opponent's resources as cost for themselves. So... You don't really pay anything to call these cards. This is your opponent pays one gauge and you put the top card of your deck into this card's soul. So you're effectively calling this for free. It's a 9k, 2 crit, 3k defense monster um, with double attack and soul guard. So, it's, you know, it's, it's good. But its ability is why you run it, obviously. Um, when this card is destroyed, your opponent chooses and drops a hand card, and you deal one damage to your opponent. So because it is Soul Guard, they need to, to get rid of this card completely, they need to discard two cards, and they'll be burning two damage. I initially was going to do two, but then I realized, like, this is a fantastic first turn card. If you see it, you just plop it in your center, you're like, okay, you know, come at me. Burn through two cards in your hand if you want to destroy this. Go for it. And then late game, if you bring it onto your center and they don't have a way of healing, like, they're at low, you know, they're at, like, really low health, then this can just, just trying to kill this can kill them, or at least, like, you know, lead towards their demise. So, definite four of, I love it, he's fun to use. Now we'll move into the grade two, size twos. Um, you got your buddy, Top Fist of Angler, Brawl Zeus. So, his cast cost, uh, I guess stats, it's a 6-2-2, two, two, size two, obviously. Um... Uh, cast cost, call cost is to put a card from your opponent's field into the drop zone. Your opponent pays one gauge, and they also pay one life. So to call this card, everything that is everything that is involved in its cost is your opponent. It's just it's great. It's like your your opponent pays, they pay life gauge and have to remove one of their cards to um just so you can get this card. And also just a little specification. Um, when it says put a card from your opponent's field into the drop zone, that goes over uh, nullify effects, or like like no, like destruction nullifies. So it's like, if a card's like, oh, this can't be destroyed, or like return to the hand, this goes over that. Um, so, you know, little little tip uh, for, um, you know, like during certain situations, like even if you don't really need to call this card to the field. Oh, I didn't even read it a second ago, I'm sorry. Second ability is plunder. Uh, when this card attacks and destroys your opponent's monsters or deals damage to your opponent, you deal two damage to your opponent and you heal two life to yourself. So it's just like, it's just a solid card all around. Um, uh, its stats are like, they're decent, uh, but right now, like, a lot of decks don't have the highest defense, except for, um, Electro Deity, fuck Electro Deity, so it's not really that big of a deal, but, um, someone okay but yeah it's just a great card run four of it even if it's not your buddy like you'd be dumb not to uh continuing size twos we got two. Oh no that's not good okay oh fuck and got it okay um we got two bone splitter uh sheer sheer um it's a five two four and it's no no it's free call its ability, though, is when this card enters the field, return all of your opponent's gauge to their deck, shuffle it, and put the top two cards of your opponent's deck into their gauge. If any of their gauge were returned, you gain two life. So, the healing is nice, but think about using it against decks like, I don't know, um, Astro Dragons, or like, just anything that gains a lot of gauge, or that like requires a lot of gauge. You can just call this card and immediately ruin all of that. Um, like, they've accumulated a lot of resource, and you're just like, okay, call. Now you're fucked. Um, so, good card. I don't want to run it that- I don't want to run that many, because, um, it's- Like, you only- The only good part about this card, really, like, its stats are whatever, but the only good part about it is that it's- its ability. And I- while gaining two life is 
wonderful. It's also not a hard once per turn, um, so you can just kind of loop it. Uh, but I don't like the idea of like giving my opponent more gauge than they may have at certain situations because um, you don't have the option to shuffle their gauge into the deck. You have to. So if they have no gauge or like one gauge and it's like, oh man, I wish I had more and you call this card, you're basically giving your opponent a resource to work with. So only two of. Um, you could try three. I, I, I would not put it past that. Then finally, we have three dysfunctional Gihi Hilea. Um, I relate to the dysfunctional part. Uh, it's a five, two, three, and its ability is act. Choose two god. Choose up to two god punk monsters with different sizes in your drop zone, other than this card, or well, other than dysfunctional Gihi Hilea, and you may pay one gauge and rest this card. If you do, put the chosen cards into your hand. So. Um, this allows you to do loops, like, if you have, uh, Shearzillus, you can, like, have it there, call Gihilea over it, Gihilea's ability, you know, because that gets retired, you get to bring it back to hand, then you just recall it, so you're keeping your opponent at two gauge constantly, but you're also healing four, and you only had to call one of these, so, um, it also goes into another size one that I have, so it's, like, anything that has an on-call ability, uh, that's not a hard once per turn, um, you can keep, like, you can loop it. Or at least, like, you can basically do it twice with this card. So, uh... And that also goes for your, um, Brawl Zeus. Like, you can just bounce Brawl Zeus back to hand and then recall it and have your opponent burn even more resources. So, um... Uh, you could try it at a 4 of, though. Uh, I just don't... I don't know. Um... I, I... The deck was kind of tight. I wanted to keep it at 3. Uh, just to have, like, a lower card count. So, um... I don't want it to go over. Then onto our size 1s. Uh, these are... The size 1 lineup is really fun in this deck. Um, you got your uh, Thrasher Daipon. Uh, this is two one two. I also love the art. He's just some punk in a uh, in an arcade or casino. Um, he's also doing the typical oi. Uh, when this card enters the field, put the top card of your opponent's deck into their gauge, and put the top two cards of your deck into your gauge. Then, if you have another God Punk on the field, draw. Um, so you're giving them only one gauge. But you're getting two out of it and probably a draw. Like, you, you're going to see other god punk cards. Um, it's also not a hard ones per turn. So with Gihilea, you can loop it. So, like, if you have... Uh, where is he? If you have this setup, right? So you call... Uh, you, well, what you can do is call Daipon. Let's say, let's say you already have something on the field, okay? Like, I don't know, it doesn't fucking matter. Um, yeah, sure. So your opponent's at two gauge, okay? You call Daipon. Now they're at three gauge, all right? Um, <clears throat> and you gain a card because Daipon has another card on the field, so you get to draw. So you're at plus two gauge and plus one card, okay? Uh, so you're at plus two, one. Um, and your opponent's at that extra gauge. They have at least three, you know, like, let's, let's just say in this situation, you know, they have more than two gauge. Then you call, fuck. Then you call Shears Alyss. And you, you know, fuck up their gauge. So you basically just gained a two gauge and a plus one card in your hand for free. Because you're not actually, with this card, you're not giving your opponent anything. Or you're taking away what they've already gotten. Then when that's done, you call Gihilea. Um, I'm sorry, let's just say you have, like, Daipon. You want to, I mean, alternatively, you can just be like, oh, call, size limit's been reached, so remove these two. Yeah, that's what you do. So make sure you have the Gihilea on the field. Then Gihilea's ability, rest it, you know, grab back Daipon and Shearzalus. Then you just recall Daipon. Or, sorry, you want to be smart. Recall Daipon, give your opponent one more gauge, and you gain... So you're at, right now you are at plus two life, plus two gauge, plus one hand. Um, now you are at plus two life, plus four gauge, plus two hand. And now you're at plus four life, plus... Four plus four gauge and plus two cards. So, and your opponent is still at two gauge, all because of this little loop you can do. So Gihilea can set up for a lot of really fun combos. Um, just that like kind of dick over your opponent, like really cuck them out of resources. Um, so I, I love it. This deck is really fun. Uh, it is not fun to deal with. Um, if you if you have like a fast deck that doesn't really require too much too many resources, um, then that works out really well. But uh, yeah, this is like this is a this is a really good like anti-meta kind of meta deck. Correct me if I'm wrong, um, but I've seen a lot of tournament play with this card, this deck.
then you're in four toga. I mean, um, Gar Ga- Gothiris, crazed crazed girl deity Gothiris. Um, everyone loves her, but they're all weeaboos. She's a six two two size one. Her call cost is that your opponent has to pay one gauge. So that's already great. Um, and your opponent cannot call monsters from the drop zone. So they just I don't I don't actually know what in like the recent decks call from drop. But regardless, that's just a nice little thing. You know, your opponent, if something dies, basically it's stuck there. Um, then her other ability is when this card attacks, if your opponent has one or less gauge, you may your opponent chooses and drops a hand card. So you just swing with this card and you force them to discard. If you have three on the field, they need to discard three, basically. And it's not that hard to get them down. Again, you can call Shearsalus. Where is he? This guy's, I actually, this guy's great. I love him. You can call Shearsalus. Put them to two gauge, then pay one gauge of theirs to call Gothiris. You immediately meet the like the condition, so you're you're already going to be forcing your opponent to discard one, and you're he- healing two life. So definite four of, um, great card, super fun. I will admit the artwork is cool. Um, you also run four, wicked giant trash RGs. Uh, I like these guys. They're like the again, it's like the the Japanese punk. It's almost like that's this deck aesthetic. Uh, so it's a 4-2-1, and again, to call it, your opponent must pay one gauge. And at the start of your attack phase, if your opponent has one or less gauge, which, as we've seen, isn't that hard to put them to, uh, this card gets double attack. Then, when this card is destroyed, destroy a card in your opponent's field. So it's like if they want to get rid of it, they have to lose something. Um, while it's on the field, you're going to give it double attack. So it's like, even when you don't see your size 2s, like, ideally Brawl Zeus, um, you're still... Like, with your size 1s, like, I've won a good amount of games just with a field of size 1s. Because, like, they're really, really good. Um, that's it for the size 1s, then. we I do run the size 0. Um, I'm considering taking this card out because it's just a 1-1-1. One, one, one. Um, so it's, like, and its ability is on hit, or partially. It's uh, when this card attacks and destroys your opponent's monsters or deals damage to your opponent, drop one of your opponent's gauge. If not, your opponent chooses and drops a hand card. So they have no gauge left, they have to discard one. But you're still getting rid of a gauge, so that's nice. You know, it helps increase the chance of, um, of uh, proccing uh, Gothiris' ability. Um, but I just feel like there are a lot of situations, especially against like Aster Dragons or like other like defensive or like center, you know, set like center monster reliant decks that this card just will not go off. Cause again, it's only one K. So it's like, you can do it in a link attack, but then you're kind of wasting an attack. So, um, feel free to switch that around. Uh, if you want, like in the comments, let me know how that goes. But I think I'm sticking to it just because more often than not, it will land in one way or another because again you can just get rid of your opponent's center through um like you know the cost ability for brawl zeus or other things then you got your items uh we can run two sky bad jacket um this is a first it's equip cost is you pay one gauge and you pay one life but it's not that big of a deal it cannot be destroyed by uh, by card effects and um item like destruction is pretty or like just like just general effect destruction is pretty um, prevalent right now. Like, a lot of cards are just, like, destroy a card or remove a card. Um, So this gets over the destroy part. So it's like, nothing can destroy this card. Uh, It can be bounced, it can be removed, cannot be destroyed, though. And its ability is give all god punk monster on your field plus 4,000 power and move. The move is really nice, because if you have cards like Trashergies or... um, uh, um, what's his name? If you have like this equipped and you want to attack with it, but you also have Trashergies or uh, Zap Uranos on the field, then you can put them on the side to ensure that you can attack and maximize your damage and number of attacks. But once your opponent's turn happens, you can just move it to the center, and now your opponent's like, crap, do I want to destroy that card? Do I want to nag just to get rid of it? Or do I let them keep it? So it allows you to balance between um, offense and defense and... Um, increase the chances of like nagging your opponent more of their resources and then i also run two of the other item it is sky god jacket it's got like i don't know god on it apparently um it's equip cost is to put a god punk from your drop zone and this is seven two this is five two uh pretty sure no god punk monsters okay so that doesn't gain power in its own not a big deal 
Um, equip cost is to put a god punk from your drop zone into its soul, and your opponent pays one gauge. So it has soul guard, but it also has penetrate. I use it mainly for the penetrate, just because, um, uh, like, for the aggro, uh, it's just nice to have. Um, if you don't like this card very much, just switch it out for Sky Bad Jacket. I do think Sky Bad Jacket's better. Uh, it's just that I do like the um, the variety and like the options that they give. The again, the the the, the offensive power is pretty good. Um, then I move on to spells. First thing I run is members only club dead deity. Okay, first when I ordered this card, I was like, okay, typically with my experience with set spells, running more is bad because they're set. This is a set spell. Um, so I don't want to draw into a card that literally does not do anything for me. And then like, yeah, I mean, yeah, okay, you charge and draw it away. But like, I'd rather just increase my chances of seeing other things. Um, yeah, this card, ignore what I just said. You want to run more of this card. I fucked up. I should have ordered more. Um, at least three. This card is great. So at the start of its set, at the start of your opponent's main phase, choose and use one of the following two abilities. Either your opponent chooses and drops a hand card and you get to draw a card, or you drop one of your opponent's gauge and you get to gain two gauge off the top of your deck. Uh, and you can only set one of this card um, on, the, like, have on the field. Um, yeah, you can only have one present on the field. But it's just like that draw ability. So if your opponent eventually has no cards in their hand and you have this on the field, they draw. Okay, they have one card in hand, right? Now immediately, well, they, they enter their charge and draw, charge and draw. They're still at one card. Now they enter their main phase, they immediately have to drop the one card they have, and they have no way of getting any resources. So if you whittle your opponent down, which this deck is not that hard to do, um, then you can put them in a position where they literally cannot do anything. It just... It's, it's like an auto-win in and of its like like on its own. It's a great card, so you have to run more. I was an idiot for only thinking I needed two. Um... Then you run for immortal... Fuck, I keep bumping into these. <laughs> you run for immortal speech. Um, you may cast it once... Yeah. You may only cast this card if you have a god punk on your field. You probably will. And its call cost is to... Cast cost... Oh, they, wow. They misprinted it. It says call cost. So it's a cast cost. You pay two gauge. Um, as you can see, you kind of gain gauge pretty easily in this deck. And you also don't really burn gauge that much. So it's like the pay two gauge is not a big deal. Um... Your opponent chooses and drops a hand card, and you draw two cards. You can only use this card once per turn. So, <laughs> you just keep nagging your opponent, and you just keep gaining, like, you gain twice what they lose. It's great. Yeah, so, definite four of. Cannot stress that. If anything, if, like, you don't like it, because it's, like, a once per turn, so typically you shouldn't run, like, four of that. Um, it's just that this is really, like, your only draw drop one immortal speech for a dead deity i think that's that might be what i'll do in the future um but yeah give that a shot then you run four all is mine this is the reason why i only run two of collective four items um or well why why run two of each of those items instead of like four of one or uh you pay one gauge to cast it and you put up to one god punk monster or item from your deck into your hand and shuffle you can only use this card once per turn so anything that like you you can search out anything you want um as long you know as it's a monster and item so it's like you can run lesser you can run less of the cards you think like do i need to run this at four of like do i need to maximize this that's what i thought i was like do i need to run like four sky bad jacket and two sky god jacket or like maybe eight items so it should be way too many anyway but then i realized that this card existed and i was like no i do not so four of this just because it's a really good searcher uh and depending on the situation if you have that card um it's also like you don't need to have any like field requirement you don't need to have a god punk on the field you just need to be able to pay that gauge and odds are you'll have the gauge so um yeah run that card <laughs> i run four uh junk wheels um its cast cost is you destroy a god punk on your field and pay one gauge. So if you destroy trash or G's, I believe that's how it works. It's, let me check. Yeah, I think, uh, is trash or G's when your opponent destroys it? Or is it just destruction in general? Because you can combo with that. Nope, when it's destroyed. So if you destroy like trash or G's, you trigger trash or G's ability. And you also trigger this. Uh, and then you also have to pay one gauge. So um, pretty easy to cast. 
It's a counter ability. Uh, choose and use one of the following two. Either destroy up to two monsters on your opponent's field. If you destroyed any, draw a card. Just the fact that you only need to destroy one to draw is already pretty good. And then you can also drop all souls from a monster on your opponent's field. So if something doesn't have, like... If something is like like uh, Prism Dragons, like they can't be destroyed by effects, uh, you just remove their soul, and then you just destroy them that turn because they can't no, uh, they can't soul guard. Like and cards like Alexand, which build up a lot of soul, um, or uh, uh, Link Dragon Order, um, you can just remove all of that. So all that hard work that they got is gone. Fuck, I gotta stop bumping into this. <laughs> yeah, I hope Richard doesn't get mad. Um, then I run four of your Nullifier. It is Invincible Knuckle. Uh, its ability is you can only cast it during your opponent's turn, and if you have a god punk on your field, again, you will. Pay one gauge, nullify the attack, deal one damage to your opponent, and you gain one life. So it's a heal and deal and a nullifier. Um, no reason not to run for. And then finally, your impact is two, top fist punishment, Karavnos Burst Fist. I love the name, I love the art, and I love what it does. Um, you can only cast this card if your opponent's life is five or less, and if you have a god punk on your field. Uh, its cast effect is to only pay one gauge, but you deal two damage to your opponent. However, if your opponent has no gauge, you deal five damage to them instead. Um, the damage can be reduced, uh, it can be negated, or anything like that, but just the fact that this is a an, this is a impact, this is an impact that can potentially kill your opponent for only one gauge, you want to run this card. Um, I wouldn't run any more than two, though, just because it's not your main win condition. So, that is the deck. Um, let me know in the comments what you think, or, again, if you want to make any recommendations, uh, I'm all ears. Uh, I've been thoroughly enjoying this deck. It's not something I want to always use, just because it feels like my opponent isn't having fun dealing with it, but, um, at times, it's like, hey, I feel like kind of being a dick, so. Um, it's also super cheap. Like, if you're getting into buddy fight, I would recommend trying this deck out. It's at maximum $80. That's probably an overstatement because prices have gone down. Um, but that's how much it was for me. It was like 70 or 80 bucks. So give it a shot. It's well worth it. It's a fun deck. You know, it gives you a good feel of like where the game kind of is right now. And it's a good counter to Lost World, which we just got. So um, yeah, uh, that was the game. That was the deck. Uh, fuck god punks that's what they're called as opposed to a uh, deity yankee as they are in japan <laughs> um yeah so uh let me know what you think you know if you're up for any discussion you can just comment and uh make sure you subscribe so we get more i mean we get more you know people to interact with and be friend and have a good time together so yeah uh this is everything thank you and good night <laughs>